Hi, I'm Stu, and welcome back to another Luna Fusion video tutorial. Today, we're going to do the teal and orange effect. Now, the teal and orange effect is a really nice balance of teal, which is a kind of greeny blue color, usually aimed at the shadow detail and the background, and then the orange is there to warm up the skin tones. So, how do we go about doing this in Luma Fusion? Well, let me show you. First thing we're going to do is make a copy of the original video. This is just a clip of an old man reciting a Hindu prayer. Let's duplicate the clip. This first layer is going to be your teal layer. So let's make it blue, closest thing we can get to teal on Luma Fusion. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our color and effects. So I'll just double tap the layer and in color and effects, we're going to scroll down to one of the presets and we're going to use dusk. And there we go. We're going to take the reds a little bit more into cyan we're going to take the greens more into the green end of things rather than magenta and you can just play with the yellow and the blue see which way you want to go and cool things down contrast wise i would probably lower the contrast but it's up to you then we go back to our main video clip so that's how lined up our teal and the dusk we're going to return to our original video clip on the main timeline and we're going to duplicate it again and this is going to be your orange look so let's make this layer orange there we go let's just get that set up and again double tap the orange layer we're in color and effects and this time we're going to go for the one called orange and there it's there not much you need to adjust in this one but you can if you wish play with the highlight amount and also the level of vibrance it's kind of up to you how you work it we're then going to go back to our main now the next thing we need to do obviously is blend between the two layers so there's the teal underneath and there's the orange on top now what we are going to do later on is reduce the opacity of the orange because it's obviously quite strong but let's work on how to blend in with the teal underneath first now I've used this technique before, quite a few videos actually, and it's the easiest way of masking without masking in Luma Fusion. One day we'll probably get masking, but for now, double tap on your orange layer. This time we're going to go to frame and fit and we're going to use the cropping. What we're then going to do is just move the cropping in. So bring it in from the left, not too far. Give yourself a bit of space. Bring it in from the right. You don't have to worry about the top and bottom just now, but we will adjust that. And then what you want to do is adjust the softness and then the corner radius and just play between them until you get an interesting sort of blend and now you can play with the top and the bottom a little bit just to see what works now this of course is not going to be perfect but it will get you a good percentage of the way there bring a little bit more into the left a little bit more into the right and then again just play with that edge softness until there's a blend between the two come back out of there take a look at it just run it through and as I said before it's quite strong so if we double tap again this time we're going to go down to blending and this is where the balance gets sorted out so I'm just going to take a little bit of edge off of the orange maybe take it to about 88% something like that and then with the teal underneath again select the layer double tap on it go to blending now with the teal you've got a couple of options you can just play with the opacity or if you want to you can actually use lights of a soft light blending mode which I think helps blend it in a little bit better and then you can just play between the two and then if we go back to the orange and this takes just a little bit of juggling with the cropping so if we just bring it in more at the right a bit more at the left and then that focuses pretty much on the face and then if we play through there's our overall look And the next thing we're going to do if you really want to be able to refine it further is we're going to output this so tap on share export, tap on movie. You can of course use the iOS share and airdrop to save it to files or put it directly onto your external hard drive now. But I'm just gonna pop it into photos. I'm just gonna change the quality to 30 megabits per second. 1080 is absolutely fine for this as it's just an example. There's no audio, but we'll just leave it there anyway. Tap and that's it saved. At this point, you can delete both the original teal and orange layers and then in your photos, drag down the copied layer, double tap on it, and you can then do further blending. So you can lower the overall opacity. And then if we compare it to before and after, I'll let it run. Stop at about four seconds, roughly. There's before and there's after. 
Now this next step you don't have to do, but it's just another comparison. I'm just going to double tap on it, bring in the cropping a bit there, just so you can see what's going on. In fact, we can use the new option for 50% exactly. Keep forgetting that's there. And obviously, the left hand side is your original, the right hand side is your top layer with the new colour grade. And that's how you get a teal and orange look in Luma Fusion. It's as simple as that. So you're kind of relying upon the blend between the skin tone and the background. How strong you bring it in is purely up to you. If you want to fine tune things further, then double tap on your teal orange look layer and tap on original, which I've got here. And then you can just play a little bit with the blue. You could increase the blues a little bit. Add a little bit more red into the orange up the vibrance or down the vibrance, whatever suits you. Play with the contrast or increase the contrast. Again, purely down to personal taste, just to increase the overall effect. And then you can see again, on the left hand side we have the original, on the right hand side we have the effect. And that's us done for today. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If I've earned your subscription today, by all means subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified of another video tutorial coming very very soon and I will catch you on the next one. See you later!